So first of all, Thomas, t tell us how did you come up with the idea about this book? When did it happen? A long time ago. It was uh, until yeah the beginning of 2015. Uh, we talked about writing a book, and but for me it was um, yeah not necessary to write a book. I do not want to uh, write a, a normal biography uh, like everyone. Uh, for me, it was very important to write something to write my my story uh, when I fall after the crash uh, when, I, when I wake up after the crash in in hospital and until when I finished my career and during this part of fighting with myself uh, I have some kind of dreams and yeah thinking about my my life about my emotions about uh, my fear of ski jumping and for sure about uh, some kind of uh, private life so it looks good and yeah it was for me very good to uh, write this book to finish my, my my career and say yeah um, to be very grateful that nothing has happened can you tell us something more about how did the the, uh, the work on this book uh, look like? How much of uh, it did you do uh, write yourself? How much help did you have? Yeah, I wrote the book together with Michael Rocha. He's the commentator of the Austrian television ORF uh, of ski jumping, and it was his second book, I guess. He wrote a, uh, a former book like ski jumping overall, all about ski jumping, and. Now with me this book and yeah we have several some was a lot of meetings together and talked about uh, all the things and yeah he wrote the um, the uh, how is it called the the the, the concept yeah. Uh, and th were there many corrections? Did uh, did uh, did you have to like uh, cut a lot? For example, you had some more more things written that he said, no, no, this is too too not not good for a book. For sure, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, first of all, you have to write everything what you what you're thinking about, and of course, when you when you read it and. Uh, everything which you have written, uh, which you write down on a letter, uh, it stands there and you can't change it. So, for sure, we, we took a lot of time to read it one, two, three, four times and to make it like it is right now. I don't know the translation in Polish version, of course, uh, but the German version is it's 100% me. It's my feelings, my emotions, my style, and it's not künstlich. <laughs> no, uh, but I don't know the, the the Polish version. I think, or I hope, it's nearly the same, and I think so. That's nearly the same, and of course, it's 100% me. <laughs> okay. So it was the style of the book. It was not for, uh, for me. It was important. Uh, I do not, do not want to write a. A usually autobiography, so it's a story. It's like a roman, in my opinion. Yeah, uh, you switched from ski jumping to piloting. How confident uh, do you feel in the air? And is there also any fear when you are flying? Of course, in the beginning, after my crash, there was uh, a lot of fear in the air or in the helicopter as well. But now it's getting better from. Uh, lesson to lesson or from hour to hour and uh, I have the luck that I have really good uh, coaches and uh, pilots who are flying with me and to 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 feel safe to learn about something or to learn to learn a lot and now yeah it's it's good and I feel really confident and looking forward for my new career. <laughs> Did you pilot yourself here to Poland? I brought myself here to Poland, yeah, with uh, Hans, my, my manager, and Stefan, who, who is my co-pilot in the during the, the World Air Games, and flight teacher as well, flight examiner, and yeah, it was nice to to fly here. Uh, we started yesterday.
flew from Austria to Warsaw and today from Warsaw to Zakopane and tomorrow we're going back home. So it's many hours and yeah, a lot of new impressions and yeah, learned a lot. Do you ever have some stressful situations, some especially dangerous moments when flying uh, a chopper? Did you have maybe some very bad weather ones? Um, I had some very bad weather two years ago. It was extremely windy and if it's windy, yeah, of course I have more fear because uh, usually I do not fly uh, when it's too windy. It's the same than in ski jumping. If it's too windy, you have uh, more fear. For sure, every time something can go wrong. Uh, during driving a car as well, <laughs> it's material as well. But uh, yeah, when I fly with my helicopter, I have to, to check everything. Uh, the helicopter, the fuel, the uh, navigation. Uh, yeah, I have to, to prepare myself and yeah, then everything should be fine. A few days ago you have been in Bad Mittendorf and I saw the picture on the hill, top of the hill. What did you feel? Uh, this year it was very strange, uh, not because of, of me or because of my emotions, it was because of the danger or the fall of Lukas Müller, uh, which is a yeah, good friend lives in near near my home and I knew him uh, knew him when he was a child when he was really young and yeah I'd, uh, it was a strange feeling this year to come back because I had so many luck two years ago and now he fall and uh, in your book you write sometimes that uh, the Austrian team is not really always such a good team as uh, it seems on the TV, that you are not, uh, we're not so close together. How Was it really like this? Well, we were close, but of course we are, we are not that uh, very, very, very good friends all together. Uh, we were a team, we were a good team, we, we competed together uh, during team competitions and we spend a lot of time over 220 days a year maybe and yeah so ski jumping is an individual sport and you have to compete against each other and to fight against each other and yeah so i had a lot of friends and in in, in ski jumping and it's no no problem it's not so bad uh, how you think about it. <laughs> now, uh, if we are talking about team, um, you wrote that uh, that the uh, relation between you and Gregor is uh, not the best one. Uh, did you find time to talk with him uh, after when you finish your career to explain everything, or or it was only hello, how are you, and that's all. <laughs> no, we can talk. Uh, together it's 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 no problem but of course we are we are not that big friends that we are talking about uh, two hours a day uh, per telephone or we have a lot of meetings uh, or going to holidays uh, that's not me and Gregor uh, I think it do not have to be uh, like everybody seems to be it's it's perfect and you are very good friends. Look at the Formula Formula One, maybe. Uh, it's it's the same with Rosberg and Hamilton. They are together in a team. They can go for dinner. It's no problem. They talk together. They are friends, but they are not the best friends to together. And now I'm an, I'm my my own boss, so uh, I only have to trust me. <laughs> And I feel really good uh, at the moment, everything is fine. No more uh, pressure uh, since when I was in Ski Jumper. It was always every day you have to fight hard, uh, find new ways, uh, 24 hours a day, uh, just keep on working. And it was yeah, a nice, really nice time. I love it and I will never miss it. But uh, now with all the different kind of things which happened, it's over and I'm satisfied with with, with everything, with my career.
very, very proud, very grateful, and looking forward for my new life. For sure, it was not easy. Uh, it was a uh, maybe the the, one, the hardest way of in, in in my life to to come back or to fight back. But I had one dream, and that was I had one dream when I woke up in the hospital after the crash, and it was to take part or participate in the. Uh, in the Olympic Games in Sochi and I did everything for it and I had a lot of pains of course in the neck uh, which um, where I had some problems uh, when I, for warm up or for for athletics training but for ski jumping it was okay for ski jumping the most or the biggest problem was uh, fear of course um, I always thought about it about the crash, about the force, uh, about what can happen. It was windy competitions in Sochi as well, in the big hill, especially the, the individual one. And yeah, but all in all, I'm really happy to reach my goal, to reach my dream. And yeah, after that, I tried to to fight back uh, for the winter, uh, for the next winter. But in, after some months, it wasn't possible to to compete uh, like it was before. It was difficult, and so I have to find a decision. The decision was to finish my career. How happy are you with your book? Do you are you 100% happy, or now that you read it or see it, you, I would change this, add that? <laughs> No, I'm I'm really happy with that book, and for sure, yeah, uh, I was yesterday in in Warsaw and for 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 some interviews and for book presentation as well in the Epic Store, and it was amazing. So many people have never seen it before uh, during a book presentation. Around thousand, yeah, thousand people, and everybody has my book, and that was very emotional for me and yeah I love it to come back to Poland I, I really like uh, this uh, country it's yeah, maybe for I feel like it's 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 my second home and that's nice love to people the guys the, the crowd and yeah, looking forward for the next days here in Zakopane as well Okay, so thank you very much and uh, have a nice stay here in Zakopane. Thank you. Yeah.